Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. This is a question I get asked regularly when, you know, there's a new install of Windows, a clean install, or it could be also because of uh, simply, um, you know, a new PC, and you're thinking of how should I manage my storage. And uh, one of the things that I know a lot of tech guys will actually tell people is you should partition, partition your drive if you have only one and have you know one um, partition for Windows and an, another partition for your folders like you know uh, your documents, music, and so on. And the reason why, and it's it's very logical. The reason why they often say that is because if you reinstall Windows, one of the things that a lot of people are actually afraid of most of the times is the fact that they'll lose their data. And by actually partitioning your um, disk into more than one, you can actually have your folders, documents, music, videos, and so on, and the other partition where if you reinstall Windows and format the main partition, it doesn't affect the other partition. And folders are still there, your documents are still there, everything that you have in terms of personal uh, files are there and it's easy to manage. So yes, I would uh, say that if you do work in that way and that means you will now have the C drive for Windows and you will have a, a D drive, for example, for your documents and your personal files, um, it, it's not a bad idea at all. And I do think that, uh, and I for a long time I did that actually. For a long time I would have an extra partition um, because, you know, when you partition a hard drive, it acts like it's different drives. It's, you know, it's the same drive, but Windows considers and looks at them like it's different drives, C, D, E, and so on. So, yes, that's a good idea. But be careful of one thing that I've seen way too often, and that is to leave Windows with too little of space. Very often I've seen people that actually have um, partitioned their drives and left Windows with say 30 gigabytes of space. And you know tech guy's gonna be oh it's fine you know Windows doesn't use that much. Problem is is Windows actually gets bigger as you use it. There are files being written in a registry. There are all sorts of things that will be added with you know updates of drivers and so on. You do need to have a decently sized main partition for Windows. It's very important. And I would not recommend having anything under 128 gigabytes for Windows. Give it some space. Give it a lot of space. If you got a one terabyte drive, you know what? Let Windows use a big chunk of it, um, you know, 150 gigabytes at least. Then use the rest for your stuff, partition it the way you want. But do not strangle the Windows partition. That is the worst thing you could do. You'll end up having to repartition and to reinstall Windows because it's just going to be squeezed too much. So give it space so that when it grows, it has place to grow because that's the way it's going to be. And that is always the way it is. I don't know how many times the main partition was left too small. And they call the tech guy, why? Because they get all of these warnings of, you know, not enough disk space on C and so on. And that can create all sorts of problems, including Windows problems itself. So, yes. Go for it if you want to partition and have different partitions for your different personal files. But do not squeeze the Windows partition and make it too small. You'll regret it over time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.